Okay guys, I want to do a real quick video on uh, my latest uh, concealed carry purchase. Um, I was looking for another uh, concealed carry gun. I have my Glock 20 in the 10 millimeter that uh, is my normal daily carrier, but sometimes it's just you know a little bit too chunky and a little bit too heavy to uh, to tow it around. So I was looking for something different, and I've had M&Ps in the past, and I like Smith and Wessons just as much as I like Glock. They're good quality guns. Of course, this gun is not loaded. There's nothing in the chamber, and there's no magazine in it. Um, I was able to pick this gun up yesterday at the uh, the local gun show, and uh, you know. Uh, some of our local dealers are pretty decent and certainly the guys from uh, from shoot straight around here in Florida uh, do a great job and uh, I was able to get the as you can see um, you know M&P 9C in the FDE 429 I mean that's uh, that's a great price on these guns in my opinion I paid well over five uh, about 540 for the first one that I owned many years ago but uh, but either way you know standard sights and stuff nothing um, nothing crazy it didn't come with nice sights or anything but still uh, for a compact gun in FDE of course it does come with you know two of the 12 round magazines um, one of them comes with a little pinky extension on it and the other one is just a flat base um, but you do get two magazines with it uh, you do get your swelled back strap with the uh, little uh, extension at the bottom to kind of fatten up the bottom uh, where like your beaver tail area would be uh, and then you get the you know the small one I tend to go with the medium one it just kind of gives the grip a little bit uh, a little bit more of uh, a feel for me anyway and of course I do have to put a little grip tape or something on it I'm gonna have to get it you know textured or something because all these plastic guns any of these polymer frames anymore uh, they're just so slippery no matter what you do to them unless you put some kind of tape or something on them they're just they're hard to hold on to uh, and when you get into these little compact models where you're only you really only have two fingers to hold on to it uh, it gets even worse but uh, you know overall great little gun for the money and uh, you know can't wait to get it out and, and put some rounds through it because I'm sure it'll perform very well but uh, if you guys are looking for uh, you know a nice little carry gun uh, this is a really good option Smith & Wesson M&P 9 compact and uh, certainly something to, uh, to look into if you're looking for a new concealed carry weapon.